Hi guys, um, this is a fix for Prototype 2. I was hesitating to buy it, but I bought it and then I refunded it and then I look up how to fix it and actually found out how to actually make it work. And so you go to uh, Steam and here I bought Prototype 2. So I got 109 minutes, which is in game. And yeah, uh, let's try playing right now. This is proto Prototype 2, and you get a black screen. And it will work. And then you got this. It says running, syncing, and then stop. So it means that it's not bro it's not um, starting up to where it actually goes. So I heard that I done some research and it's very easy fix, not that complicated. So you would go to your if your Windows ten, which I have right now, you right click on it. And then you go to device manager. And then, well, there's some YouTube video that show that what I'm doing. I'm kind of, they kind of show what, what I'm do, doing. But they're just, they don't really know which, like, one to choose. So I'm going to give, I'm going to, like, give some more information on that. So this say the HID compliant consumer control device, which is this five. You could have four, three, two, one, or even more than five. But here's the thing: you you have to always disable or enable. But in this case, to play Prototype Two, you have to disable the device. But here's a thing I found out: you press properties and then you look up the location it says on USB input device which means you don't disable this one the only thing you only have to disable is the keyboard and also your mouse I'm gonna I have a Razer Naga Chroma and I also have a Corsair keyboard and a Steel Series keyboard which is from for my laptop so I have three HID compliant consumer control device that I have to disable in order to play prototype 2. So you just keep, you go to the first one and you press properties and then it says USB input device. You look at the location and it said this, don't disable it. You don't have to disable it. But you keep going until if this is USB input device, you just press OK. And then you just keep going and it says location on Corsair composite virtual input device so this is the HID compliant consumer control device for the Corsair keyboard which I have which mean if you have like a Razer or a Logitech keyboard it says like that then you disable disable it so for this is the Corsair keyboard I have it, it could be any Corsair so you just disable never ever on install it'll be much more trouble if you accidentally click on install I I think you all you have to install it back or something like that but never press on install so uh, so from here to show that it's on uh, disable it will show an icon right here it means it's disabled so you have to disable this this one which is wide got and it's the Corsair keyboard and also you look at this it says on steel series game keyboard this is the one that uh, is on my laptop is uh is the keyboard from my laptop and it's a steel series game keyboard so this is also where you have to not uninstall is disable so you disable this one press yes and it refreshes again and then this one is the Razer Naga Chroma which is my mouse you if you just look 
on the location and it says your the name on your mouse dis disable it not uninstall so I'm gonna disable it yes and it refreshes and now prototype should work so I go back to Steam click on prototype 2 and play and we wait for this gray screen it means that it works and there you go voila um, and to show you that the thing I figured this out is from doing some research on in, in the internet and also from this one right here it says keyboard and mouse so you always I think this prototype 2 is always searching for a keyboard or mouse kind of uh, keyboard or mouse kind of input that's why you have to disable it that's what I think but I'm not really an expert in this part so I really don't know but all I know is you have to disable your keyboard if you got two keyboard or one keyboard disable it your mouse also disable it as well too if you disable your mouse and keyboard still work and I'll just clear continue and here I am when I press the control on my keyboard also work as well too yeah so that's just like a fix but the thing is after you restart it'll be enabled so you every time you play prototype 2 you have to always disable your game keyboard and game and mouse so yeah uh, I hope this is I hope this video helped you guys and if you say this video is very good then like leave a comment if you think it's a waste of time dislike it I don't mind make sure you subscribe to, subscribe too and I will see you guys on the next video